is the Big O Show. This is the Big O Show. Big O, how was Jeff Ulenick? Nice guy. That was a long time ago. Ulenick was... Ulenick was like at the, you know Ulenick was like at the end of at the end of his run was the beginning of my run cuz I want to say he ended in the early 90s that's exactly when I started radio in 91 so yeah it's kind of like I barely saw Jeff Ulenick that was towards the end of his career and then he went on to the Saints I think in Washington but nice guy. Nice guy. Did you, by the way, did you send that in? Did Ulanek come from the CFL? Because I don't remember, actually. I don't think he did, but I would have to take your word for it. I think he's a, a Buckeye, if I remember correctly. I think he's an Ohio State kid. But I, I, I don't know. Did he go to the C, Did you bring that up because he went to the CFL and then came to Miami? I, said, I don't even remember that now. I can't even remember Whenever the hell they picked him up, <laughs> okay, which was a long time ago now. I don't even remember anymore. Somebody would have to look it up and tell me what the hell happened. I thought he was like a late-round draft pick or a free agency. But maybe you maybe you sent it in because uh, Super Boomshack, do you know if he was in the CFL or something? I don't remember. Ian says, Coach Flores is just built for this S. He will captain this ship for years to come. I certainly hope so, my man. I certainly hope so. Super Boom says, not not sure. Mark Dixon made me think of Ulenick. Oh, okay. I see what you're saying. Okay. Ulenick replaced Stevenson. Tough tough gig. Yeah, no, I, I remember. No, Ulenick played well, dude. Played well. He had a good career in the NFL, man. Big O, I know it's early. Could the? I don't know what else. Jose, you, you, you got to finish out the sentence in order for me to answer it. <laughs> David says, I can't name two memorable plays from Scott Miller in his half dozen years with the Finns in the 80s. I was always shocked that he had such sticking power when wide receivers like Fred Banks and Pruitt had had short careers. Yeah, but wait a minute. Hold on, bro. You blew it. Pruitt did not belong. Yeah. That, that's, you, I just answered your question. That was his nickname in our neighborhood. James, you blew it. Pruitt. That guy had... I'll take Scott Miller over James U. Blewett Pruitt because James U. Blewett Pruitt had all the talent in the world. But damn, he dropped balls like crazy. Scott Miller had very little talent, but didn't drop a damn thing. So I I understood what Shula was saying. If I can't get a great returner, at least I'm going to get a guy that can catch the ball and I'm not going to lose a possession. I get what he was doing. I understand. You know, pun returning is, man, that's a bitch. You're catching in traffic. You've got to be shifty. you got to make quick decisions, man, because they are coming at you. And, brother, and in the day that those guys were playing, forget Halo, they were ready to knock the crap out of you every single time. Halo. No freaking Halo in those days. So, yeah. So I kind of, you know, you blew it, prove it. Eh. I'm so happy that Stephen Ross finally has a grasp on how to run the Dolphins properly and the team. The stadium is awesome, and the team is up and coming. Yep. Well, NorCal, he figured it out. Let me hire and get the F out of the way. <laughs> okay? I'm not deciding on who the coach is. I'm not going to say who I like and all that. And so, yeah, he's a, he's a hell of an owner, bro. He spends a ton of money. I don't want Steven Ross to go anywhere. I just want them to win. That's all he needs is winning. Uh, Flores was trained by the best question Dodger in the NFL. Yep. You're right about that. Big O, the secret treasure is buried in the... I like it, Pat. <laughs> You're following my man Jose's lead. You just didn't finish it. I got you. 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 Uh, Jose says, could this draft potentially be one of the best of the Dolphins? Well, my brother, you got, 
you know, what is it, 12, 13 picks? You got a shot at it being one of the best. If you make good picks, yeah, this could be one of the best. Well, listen, if they're going to be a champion down the line, this draft that just happened in 2020 must be one of the greatest Dolphin drafts of all time. Because how many times can you set yourself up with that many picks? Not many. So the few times it happens, oh, and by the way, high picks, okay? So when it does happen, you need to hit some home runs, dude. So, yes, let's hope so. I'm hoping this is one of the – I'm hoping this is the greatest Dolphin draft ever. How about that? Not just a great draft. I hope it's the greatest Dolphin draft ever. It's the kind of draft that four years from now – Chris Greer is sitting in a room kicking himself in the ass going, who do I keep? Who do I keep? Who do I let go? Holy crap. You know, that kind of stuff. That you can't sign them all. You're going to have to let some go, get some compensatory picks, that kind of stuff. Okay? Jose goes, Pruitt era malissimo. You are right, sir. You are right. He was terrible, bro. Uh, Let's see. Shula wanted Tommy Vigorito back. Tommy V. Kenneth in Cleveland chimes in with a little super chat. He says, Big O, Kenneth Cleveland is live from the Havana Cuba VIP boom boom room. Hola. Thank you, Kenneth Cleveland. You are a stud, my brother. Thank you for always uh, supporting our show. We love you for that, my friend. Appreciate you immensely and all of you out there that uh, help us out by tuning in, downloading, supporting our sponsors. And then, of course, the Super Chats are are priceless. Thank you so much. Uh, Dougie Fresh says, oh, the meaning of life is the... Uh, I hope the Dolphins win a Super Bowl before Stephen Ross checks out. That's going to happen. Stephen Ross will be here in 2023, right? That's the year we win the Super Bowl. I keep telling you that. Just saying. Okay. Next year, we'll enjoy Tua starting a full season. Okay. All right. And then he'll build on that in his third year, second full year of starting. He leads us to a Super Bowl. Win. Okay, so as long as Stephen Ross plans on being around in 2023, he will be hoisting that 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 Lombardi trophy and I will be at that stadium. All right. And I'm sure some of you out there will be at the and I will not be going as a media, a member of the media. Well, maybe I will. I'll do both. I'll go in the stands. And then when the game is over, I'll go to the locker rooms just to, you know. Got to cover the locker rooms. Champagne filled. I'll have a change of clothes in the car. I'll be ready this time around. I wasn't ready for the heat, and I wasn't ready for the Marlins when I was champagne filled. But I'll be ready next time that when I get to my car after Inter wins the MLS Cup, the Dolphins win the Super Bowl, and the Panthers win the Stanley Cup, that when I get back to my car, I will have a change of clothes. Guaranteed. Plus, I don't want to mess around with my nice Camry, okay? I take care of my Camry too much to sit inside champagne-filled in my Camry. Can't do that, bro. Uh, Let's see. Kenneth, uh, I need my Cuban cigars. Please send me your guy to the Keys. That's what Super Boom Shack says. Oh, you're in the Keys, Super Boom Shack? That is life. That is awesome. Super Boom Shack says... My ATM pin number is Jose Cabrera. You didn't know you were going to start something new on the show. I'm going to say something without saying something. (laughs) It's basically what's going on. All right, 786-322-1105. If you want to get in on the text line, that's 786 322-1105. You can also reach out to us on the email, which is Orlando at BigOradioShow.com. Here we go. Um, 
Anyway, let's see. What do we have here? Oh, uh, Earl Thomas, uh, released by the Ravens, folks. Not a fit for the Miami Dolphins, okay? So, you you know, I keep getting uh, – I got an email here also on it. Uh, you guys got to stop with the Earl Thomas stuff. Uh, I know we're in hour number, what, uh, three now of the show, right? Well, we're going to go till we go to uh, 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 Franco, okay? Yeah, Panizo. So, 10. Uh, but we have it segmented already, number four for today. Yeah. Go look at it. Yeah, Earl Thomas, not – um. For those of you emailing me, not going to happen, dude. Uh, it just it's it's not a smart move, and the guy looks like a first class a hole. So I, I get it, I get it. I, I know we're gonna. I'll probably get ten more of those by by this afternoon. Listen, with his wife pulling gun, we already have enough shootings in our town. Yeah, just, we don't need you know. Yeah, uh, just a uh, just a guy you want to stay away from, dude. How about Louisiana? They're about to hit get hit by two storms. I mean, what kind of crap is that, bro? Jesus. You know what I was thinking when I saw the past crossing? The movie The Perfect Storm, remember? Yeah. With the front and the way it just spun. And I'm like thinking, man, if these two storms were to hook up in the Gulf, what could potentially go? Because the Gulf is the hot. It's like the warmest water almost in the world. I I didn't go to see that in the movies. I, I saw it on cable. How did you see it? Uh, I did see it in the movies. Because uh, that's a movie that is like. Based on a true story. Yes, yes. But all I'm waiting for is the the wave part. I hate to say You're it, not cause... even a surfer. Yeah, no, it's right. No, of course I'm not a surfer. But that's not the point. The point is, like, I know what the movie, the whole gist of the movie is about. And how they build up to it and going fishing and all that and getting on the boat and all. And it's just like, bro, just get me to the part of the wave. Let me just see the destruction and you guys fighting the wave and trying to stay alive. Because it's just, it's one of those movies that kind of drags until you get to that point. You know what I'm saying? That's the way you saw it, huh? Yeah, I guess. You don't think so? You don't think, well, you, you're not really into fishing and stuff like that. And you never, I mean, not that I no, am, I but would've. I had my time. Ja- Jaws, yeah. I'm into fishing. I mean, I, I did plenty of fishing with my dad. No, I, but did that's, I, mean, it didn't, I did skin diving and And you everything. can't appreciate what these guys do. No, I do appreciate going for it, tuna. but I was just. You uh, don't appreciate what these guys do going for Alaskan king crab and snow crabs it, out in it, the it, barrier straits. It's like it's like uh, that movie where all those storms and then uh, New York gets bombarded with that big ass wave and then everything freezes over with the day after or whatever the hell it's called. Yeah, but that's a movie. That's not real life. But it, but that one's also dragon ass. And I'm like, let me fast forward until the destruction starts. So <laughs> just so the scene when they're over the mall, the glass encased mall, and the and the glass shatters. And the guy cuts them like none of that had any impact until they get to New York. Until yeah, the until, wolves on the boat trying to well, get the. Okay, that's not bad. I, I, I mean, that was that was pretty good. It, was fighting pretty good. fighting the police like, hey, everybody needs to stay inside. We're in the safest spot, and they're like, we got to get up and go. You know, yeah. none of that had an impact. I just I just needed the effects. I just wanted the effects. I don't know. I don't know if you guys are like that, but I'm just like when I know these are the kind of movies that are just destruction movies. Like the the rock movie San Andreas, which is like a terrible movie. Uh, I, I the other day, uh, it's on. It's on. I have never seen that. I I think I saw five minutes of it. I was it's like, terrible. This is like John Cusack. It's terrible. The same, you know, thing. And uh, yeah, okay, thank it's you. Terrible. So I turn it on right on on Hulu, and I just fast forward until the destruction starts, <laughs> just to see. So I just want to see the effects, see how good it looks, and all that. That's it. That's all. That's all. Just, just get me to that point. I don't know. Uh, Hank Goldberg's left nut says the Marco storm is only going to be a tropical depression when it hits. The other will be a cat too. So Marco is just going to be foreplay. Yeah, but still, dude. No, foreplay. see the the rain, brother. That's the, the problem. The amount of rain yeah. that hits the land prior to the hurricane coming right. that saturates the ground. Yeah. The roots don't have anything to hold on to, and here comes just a seventy mile per hour. Not even a hurricane. Get it to 65, 70, and wham, there goes that tree. All right, if the other one becomes a two. Oh, no, then you're really in trouble. Yeah. 
Because uh, the ground just, is so saturated, everything's gonna be crumbled. Yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah. Don't don't downplay it just because of that, man. That sounds like a person and, that's and, never and, dealt with a hurricane. And, and and there'll be moments in certain parts of that storm where people will will feel some serious gust and they'll suffer damage, and all of that. So it's you know, and, and maybe some some tornadoes also you know touch down from all of it. So it's not it's not an easy thing, man. I feel bad for the people in Louisiana. I mean, wow, they get wild with they. They get walloped more than we do. And way more. When you compound the fact that their hurricanes go through the Gulf of Mexico that superpowers these things up. Yep. yep. And they're yeah, I feel I feel worse for them. What I'm hoping, man, is one goes to Texas and one goes to you know, split it up, man. Right. If 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 they hit the same spot, God help wherever that happens. Yep. God help. That was me watching the, the Titanic. Will you hurry up and just hit the damn iceberg? Exactly. Exactly. Let's just fast forward and let's get to the exciting part. You hit the iceberg. Everybody tips over. What do you do from then? You know, it's like the Poseidon adventure. Okay, wave hits, turns over the boat. Let's see, uh, you know, the the big woman swim under and uh, save everybody's ass. You know, that that's, that's what the you part want. of the Titanic I could not stand is the old lady throwing the necklace into the water. Like, what's wrong with you? I want to slap the crap out of you, you moron. (laughs) I love it. It's a beautiful day. Anyways, prayers to our friends in Louisiana because, uh, ladies and gentlemen, they're going to go through a rough one this week. Man, two storms in one week. They're going to get battered, and that is not a lot of fun. Uh, We've been a part of it, and it's it's Well, we had a one year I can remember – yeah, Katrina, we had Katrina, bam, bam. and uh, and we just left everything up. We were lucky. We were very fortunate. We didn't get Wilma. Slammed. Yes, Katrina, Wilma. Yep. Katrina, and we just Wilma, left things where we were lucky. No, we were lucky that we only got ones out of those. Yes, because Katrina ended up being a five. Exactly. When she it got le- it, left us and yep. became a five and hit New Orleans. Yeah, and crushed him. Wilma, I blame don't... it again on the Gulf, Gulf yeah. of Mexico, man. Oh, Wilma. I think went through us and stayed a one, and then I forgot what it did. If it like you'd back into the did panhandle it do, I th- or I something think, like I think that, I think that's right? the one that did that crazy zigzag. Right, it went back yeah. into the panhandle and back out to the Atlantic or yep. something. Yep, uh, something like that. But anyway, so yeah, I remember. And, and let me tell you, uh, Wilma and and Katrina at ones did some damage here because you could. Yeah, we were without power for. A, Several days. I was it, at, about yeah. four or five days. I was out power exactly. here. It was about a week. But yeah. not only that, long. there were people that had damage, roof damage, right. trees, whatever. Their car got damaged because stuff hit it. It was. I got. Hey, t- I remember Katrina hit. No, it, yeah, it was Katrina, right? Because Wilma, I think, was the one that went through Broward, and Katrina went through Dade. I think it was. Is how it went. And and when it went through us, bro, the house we have shutters, and it was. Like moving, bro, trembling, and I was like, I looked at my wife and I go, "This is a one," because it was wicked. Listen, bro. think about it. When we have a really strong storm and we get those gusts, like that one day we were at Toyota, remember that the wind was. Oh yeah, man, that's sixty, seventy. Mu- You're gonna get damage with that type of a storm. You don't have to be a hurricane. Yeah, yeah, we were when we're deep into the roof, and it was. And still, I can tell you, the rain was still hitting us on the dock, man. When the winds get up to forty miles per hour, that's it. The cranes shut down like height wise. You have to stop. Yeah, all yeah. things must cease. Pat in Asheville says, "Bill, the old lady died at the end of the Titanic, so I guess God had some questions too." <laughs> Speaking of movies, Big O, did you see the DC Freedom trailers? With Batman, Wonder Woman, etc., they look incredible. I have not. Uh, I'll check it out. I'll uh, I'll YouTube them uh, after the show and check it out when I'm relaxing. He must be talking about that thing they were advertising, the DC thing for yep. the last week or so. Yep. The great Mike No Go Zone says my heart goes out to New Orleans, one of my favorite cities, and where I filmed an episode. Love New Orleans. Love going to New Orleans, but I only love popping in, popping out. That's all I can tell you. Because the one thing about New Orleans, I'll say, it is a depressing-looking place. Once you walk out of Bourbon Street, it is just not a bright place. You know what I'm saying? People are really cool because I've always had a good time in New Orleans. They're so nice overall. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, man. 
You don't like all the Spanish moss in the trees and that southern look and the just, uh, swamp and the lakes and all that, man? This looks very, very run down, man, unfortunately. And the area where, where Katrina destroyed, still down. Um, you, oh, yeah. You, dri you drive I-10 right through there. And it's you, a ghost town. Yeah, man. It's just. Uh, well, that's kind of like going through places that Mike just left up in Michigan. Yeah. Man, you go through Flint, Detroit, certain areas. Man, it's like a, it's like a ghost town. Yeah, Mike. Mike posted a uh, a Hitsville picture on his uh, IG uh, page, and I was so jealous, man, because he went to he went to Hitsville, USA, and, and took a tour of it. That would be so awesome.